Have you ever pondered about the paradox of human speech, blessing and cursing from the same mouth? Today, we're delving into the profound verses from the Bible that pose these thought-provoking questions. From the book of James chapter 3, we find these words, Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. In simpler terms, this verse reminds us of the power and responsibility that come with our ability to communicate. It questions the contradiction of using the same tongue to both praise God, our Creator, and to curse men, who are made in His likeness. It's a call to introspection, to realize that such contradiction should not exist. Then the verse continues with two rhetorical questions. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? These questions serve as metaphors emphasizing the point that just as it's impossible for a single source to produce contrasting results, so should our mouths not produce both blessings and curses. In essence, these verses challenge us to be mindful of our words, to use our speech to bless rather than curse, to uplift rather than tear down. To summarize, today we've delved into the book of James chapter 3, exploring the paradox of human speech, blessing and cursing, We've understood that our words hold power and responsibility. And we've been reminded that just as a single source can't produce contrasting results, our mouths should not produce both blessings and curses. Before we wrap up, remember to reflect on your words and their impact. Are they sweet waters or bitter? Are they figs or olives? If you found this explanation helpful, do consider giving this video a like, share it with others, and subscribe to the Closer to God channel for more insights into the Bible. Remember, your words are powerful, use them wisely. Thank you for tuning in and may your words be a blessing to all who hear them.